I can't believe that burgers have betrayed me. At least beer is actually cheap. Only about mm, euro and a half. Yeah, it's pretty much the same standard amount as anywhere else. I wish it was better though, because it tastes kind of bland, depending on what kind of beer you're getting yourself. Some brands I found are not that bad at all. But others, <laughs> yeah, let's not talk about them. They don't even get you buzzed, like seriously, come on. If the beer you're drinking doesn't even get you buzzed a little bit, that's not beer you're drinking, you're drinking fucking mineral water, that's what you're drinking. Here's a fucking bird, he just shows up out of nowhere. Man, fuck you and your bird shenanigans. Fuck him. 360 no scope. That son of a bitch. Where's the damn exit? There's been so many signs already. <laughs> and the faces those birds have are like, I'm going to break your neck and punch, punch you in the nutsack, you little shit. Oh, and here is boss. The boss is little clown, who is definitely not little at all. Nice shoes, though. This motherfucker is more intimidating than anything. Like he just looks like he's gonna give you trouble, but really, he's nothing special. You see, now he he has uh, learned some neat necromancy tricks, but unfortunately for you, he's also a douchebag who keeps all of his fucking heads up in the air most of the time. But the only way to hurt him is to destroy all of the heads that he has created. The headless clown. The headless artist. It's like the headless rider. Only dumber. It's like a comedy version. You gotta wait till the motherfucker decapitates himself and clones the decapitation. And then I have a bounce on his head. I.e. take bag him. Or throw a nut in his face. Just nut in his face a little bit. <laughs> Unfortunately if you jump. The bastard just decides, oh, you know what, I'm, I'm, not, not, I'm not gonna come down. Oh, fuck you. Well, fuck you too. Because of the way he works, however, he takes so fucking long to beat. Now, come on, dude. Get a move on already. I don't like the way his mouth is open like that. Oh, fuck you and your cake bullshit. Well, let me just change trajectory. I'm gonna change the trajectory of your fucking veins by the time I'm done here. Thinking you're real tough with that cake, motherfucker? I haven't seen the Gross Street OGs yet. This guy has the least amount of HP from all the bosses. But that doesn't mean shit, because you can only hurt him so rarely. The boss fight will last just as long as any other. Oh, I think I got a one up. Come down here already, you motherfucker. He even has a wizard hat. Holy shit. Is he somehow related to Fantasia? Nah, that would be... That would be stupid. But yeah, don't try to hurt him now, because while his head is attached to his body, it is impossible to hurt him. He is impervious to your bullshit and teabagging. <laughs> Decapitate yourself already, you bastard. No, he just keeps bouncing around like a bouncy, bouncy lady. If you're quick, you can destroy most of his heads while they're coming off of his head. Unfortunately, he likes being a dickhead. Come down already! 
Jesus. Why does it take so long? It's like Dark Souls PvP. You just want to beat the shit out of a guy, but he keeps fucking running away. Stop running! Oh yeah, you can bounce off the cake if you want to. But what's the point? It doesn't do anything. I suggest you just try avoid it. It'll try to bounce off the edge of the screen, if it can. If it does, well, just dodge. Oh, that didn't fucking count? Well, at least I got one of the heads. Come on, calm down here. Duh, I hate how we always fly up so fucking high. Why do we always prioritize being out of reach? What's the point? I'm never gonna be up there so fucking high. I have no way of getting up there. Come down! Seriously, it makes no fucking sense. Why fly up there for so long that I can't do anything and you can't do anything? It doesn't matter if you go f up there. You can't do anything. I can't do anything. It just prolongs a fucking fight. It's a piece of shit. Come on. And shut your damn jaws. For fuck's sake, they're creeping me out. It feels like something's gonna crawl out of that fucking thing. That fucking ham burglar is gonna come out and be like, Burgle, burgle! <laughs> Gonna burgle your burger. Does that... Is that what he says actually? Does he say burgle burgle? Or does he say something else? Something else? Or does he say robble robble? I don't know what the fuck he says. It should be burgle burgle for all I care. Oh yeah! Putting the money into... My coffers. Last level in the game, yeah! We got this by the nutsack, boys! But unfortunately this is also the most annoying of the levels because it has one thing that everyone hates in platformers. Ice! Ice, ice baby! And a lot of uskimos. Oh, by the way, frozen water equals you die. And also angry Eskimos. And penguins. You know, penguins are a bunch of bastards. So fuck them. I don't care about them. They don't even look that good. People who think that penguins are cool are fucking dumbasses. Yeah, I said it. Shots fired. <laughs> I don't fuck. Vultures look pretty fucking menacing though. Despite the fact that they never eat anything living, as far as I'm aware. Although I heard some species of vultures actually use stomach acid as a defensive mechanism. Like they will spit stomach juice at uh, enemies in order to, well, scare them away. Although if it does actually land on them, it's gonna hurt, because. It's actually stronger than uh, the stomach acid of anyone else. But that shit is made to kill. And not just things that want to kill the fucking vulture. Also all kinds of bacteria and viruses. That shit goes into that juice, it's like, oh no, and dies. Oh, by the way, this igloo has a lot of caramel and uh, cones and candy. This is a pedo igloo. <laughs> That's horrible. I need to get out of here. <laughs> Why do they have baby pink? 
wait. <laughs> Maybe I won't complete that. Why do we have hairy ball sacks? I know, I know the game is called Mr. Nut, but come on, guys. That's kind of tasteless. It's kind of weird that as long as uh, the skimmers don't know that you're around, they look so nice and friendly. They look like they're here to relieve your frustration. But no. Once, once you get on on their target sites, they change from nice people, nice Eskimo, to fucking Terminators. They're like, Hasta la vista, baby. Fucking throw spears at you, trying to fish you up. You will be lunch. And considering that there's not a whole lot to hunt out in the south, or wherever the fuck we are, it should be the south. The South Pole, that is. Even though Eskimos don't live there? <laughs> I mean, judging by the penguins, because the penguins don't live in the North Pole. North Pole is where you find polar bears. And considering that polar bears would actually like to eat a few penguins, well, it, it just kind of makes sense that penguins don't live there. Even though penguins are retarded sons of bitches. When will this stupid trend of penguins die off? I mean, all in all, they're kinda interesting to look at every now and then, but... Do we need all the fucking movies about them too? Seriously, come on guys. Especially all the shitty ones. Oh fuck! Oh yeah, you can't swim out of it ice cold water because th there's uh, there's a Loch Ness monster underneath and it just so happens that you have 350 and the monster has been waiting for some 350 for quite a long time now so it'll drag down anyone who is unfortunate enough to get into its territory and it's waiting for you silently Hell, it doesn't even show up on the screen. Although rumor has it that if you wait long enough, it will poke its head out and will ask you for 350. Loch Ness monsters aren't known to be too patient after all. Why the hell are birds carrying snowballs? And uh, how come there are birds in here? Like, the only bird I can imagine that would be in South Pole is a penguin. Is penguin a bird? I think it is. Oh, come on. That's bullshit. That is some grade A bullshitium. Fuck this level. Hey, nice hole. <laughs> that is a pretty nice hole back there in the background. Mind if I try finger? <laughs> I'm getting fucking tired actually. It doesn't help that I'm still a little ill. That's why I don't know, maybe Maybe some uploads haven't shown up. Most likely not, because I, I tried to get those to come out properly now, and how the fuck was that not close enough? I was as close as I can! Come on, dude. See, I did the exact same fucking jump there. Makes it just fine. Well, I don't know what your problem is, guys. <laughs> fuck this. This level stinks. Stinks like shit. Oh, come on. Could have made that jump. Fuck this. This is bullshit. And of course, now I gotta start here again. Fuck. 
It sucks that the water just instantly kills you. Like, come on, dude. The fucking squirrel can swim. Why can't I swim out of this? Like, sure, take the fucking health if you have to, but don't fucking insta-kill me. That's stupid. <sighs> Fuck this shit. Back here already. Oh, another nice hole. Oh, that, that was fucking close. Fuck. If my balls weren't clenched, they would have been clenched. Clenched to the tightness of a nut. Oh, you saw that, right? Fuck. Let me slow that down for you. Look how fucking close that was. Shit. And they want you to do this while dealing with ice physics. Man. No, thank you. How about you put that ice on your nutsack? Before I pummel the fuck out of it. And they put the baby penguin there just to fuck you up. Did I already make the tricky jump? This doesn't look familiar. Oh yeah, watch out. There's a platform right here. You can barely see it. So be careful in this fucking place. They wanna fuck you up. Ah, oh, they really wanna fuck you up. But fuck these guys. I'm not gonna get fucked up. You're gonna get fucked up. I just noticed that... Not notice, realize that Mr. Nuts kills enemies by teabagging them. Huh. That is quite uh, an interesting insight.